Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. I know it's been a while since I made a video and this one's not gonna be very long. I just felt like I should give you guys a little bit of an update and at least fill some of you in on where I've been and what's been going on. For those of you who don't know me and haven't ever watched any of any of my videos or maybe not my videos on my anxiety and depression. It's something that I've been struggling with since I was very young. You know, I've been talking a little bit about trying medication. I, I was never the type that wanted to take medication, but I feel like once you get to a certain part of your life, you're tired of, you're tired of fighting and you, you just want to try and see if it helps. I finally got a prescription. It's for Zoloft. It's actually the not the brand Zoloft. It's generic Zoloft. I started taking it on Halloween, October 31st. So I'm just at around a month and I wanted to kind of tell you guys what it's been like for me, whether I feel like it's helping or not. Anytime you take a medication like this it takes a while for your system to metabolize it and to, to balance everything out that's why they always say to give it at least a month preferably a couple of months before you decide whether it's helping you or not so like i said it's only been a month but i did want to tell you what it's been like for me so far it's prescribed 50 milligrams of this generic zoloft and the first day i took it was a it was it was it was a roller coaster ride and i know that it says that you're not supposed to feel any side effects right away but i did uh, there was slight nausea nothing to make me actually sick which i was very thankful for because i hate being nauseous i I don't know anybody who likes being nauseous. Very slight nausea, but before that, I got really kind of hyper and like I was very talkative and I kind of liked that part about it because I'm a very introverted, shy, quiet, reserved person and I've never really liked that about myself. I've always wanted to be more extroverted more talkative, more outgoing. So when I got really talkative that day, I, <laughs> I was kind of happy about it. I was like, oh, finally, maybe I'll be normal. But that didn't last. Then I got a little sick and then I got really, really sleepy. I went to work the next day and, and I just felt like I was in a fog. I actually felt a lot more anxious. Started researching a lot and a lot of, a lot of things that I read said that the starting, it, it's normal to start at 50 milligrams, but a lot of people were saying that that was way too much for them. So they dropped themselves down to 25. So that's what I started doing. Started taking half a pill and there's a line right down the center and they're, they're easy to, to cut with a little cutter. I started taking 25 milligrams a day to see if that made a difference. And it did. I didn't get nauseous. I didn't get talkative either. <laughs> I didn't really feel any negative side effects. Now for the first week or two, especially the first week, I guess, I did feel a little bit more anxiety at times. You know, I also got really sleepy sometimes and some days I had a lot of trouble focusing. Like I'd be at work and uh, I haven't told you guys what my job is yet but basically I sort male and female chicks and I would find myself staring at this this wing because that's how you tell them apart and knowing fully what I'm looking at but it's just not registering in my mind and I'd catch myself just staring like lost. So that kind of happened off and on for the first couple of weeks. Eric would ask me probably once a week if I felt like it was helping me at all and my answer has always been the same. I don't know. I mean I kind of know a little now that's why I'm here making this video but when he first started asking me if I felt any different or if I felt like it was helping me I didn't know. He said that he could tell a big difference in me, which was great. If he could see it, I'm, I'm, I have trouble seeing myself. I don't know why, like I, I don't know if I'm acting different or anything like that. And maybe that's normal, I don't know. He said that he felt like he was better able to have a conversation with me that was maybe a little more uncomfortable and that I handled it a lot better. He said that I never would have been able to talk to him about those things or for as long as we had without getting upset or angry. And he's right. That's very true. So now that I've been on it for a month, I can tell you this much. I do feel like it kind of evens me out. I, I don't feel things ex as extreme as I used to. I still have all those normal feelings 
they're just not as intense as they were before I started the medication. And the doctor did say that. He said, you're still going to feel the anxiety and the depression, but this is going to help you from from going really deep into it. So I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't feel totally different. I'm not all talkative like I was hoping. I was hoping that this was going to kind of bring things out of me that maybe I, you know, maybe I wasn't really shy. Maybe it was just my anxiety that made me not able to talk to people and make new friends. I was really hoping that that, you know, that the medication would help that. I thought it, maybe it would help me with some motivation issues because maybe my depression was causing me to lack some motivation. And it, it has, I can say that in truth because I'm doing a lot better job of taking care of my responsibilities as far as doing the dishes when they need to be done, washing laundry when it needs to be done and, and kind of tidying up. Except for the last two weeks, I've, I've been sick. We've all been sick. So that didn't help. So other than that, I do feel like it has helped me get up and do things that I need to do. But one of the negative things about it is it has also, it's made me a little more of who I, I guess I truly am. That introvert, that homebody, that couch potato. Uh, I kind of feel like it's, I don't know, maybe it's temporary. I'm hoping it's temporary, but for at least the last two, two and a half weeks, I've definitely felt like I feel no need whatsoever to talk to anybody. I don't really feel the need to have a conversation with anybody or to interact or cuddle or any of that stuff. I'm hoping that that's a temporary thing because while it's okay for me, it's not great for my relationships. I haven't called anybody in about a month now and I really need to. So I'm hoping that that's a temporary thing. So that's, that's all I really have about it right now because like I said, it's only been a month or 31 days or something like that. And I'm going to keep updating you guys because I know that there are many of you out there like me who have told me that you have depression and or anxiety and even the BPD that I've talked about and you've maybe thought about medication but you're scared and maybe you don't think it's not going to work and I just want to share this journey with you guys and hopefully it'll help you make some decisions about whether you want to try it or not I don't know so that the the, the the pro right now is that it um, it seems to be stabilizing me. It's almost like uh, whereas before I was a tiny little John boat out in a hurricane in the ocean and I'm you know up and down and all over the place. Now I'm still that little John boat, but I'm in like a calm ocean for the most part. I still get my emotional stuff, but it's not a storm. It's a drizzle. So far, I don't, maybe that's just, maybe I've just been feeling okay for the last month because it was a month that I would normally feel good. I don't know, but like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. The negative, the, the con that I've seen so far is that I don't particularly feel like talking to anyone or interacting. Hoping that yes, it is balancing me out and also hoping that I'm not going to stay in this place where... I mean, I guess if, if, if I was single and, you know, completely alone, I would be so thankful that I'm okay being completely quiet by myself doing my own thing. That would be great. But I'm not. I have a boyfriend and a family and I need to keep these relationships going. <laughs> so that is, that's that. Hopefully... The longer I use the medication, the more it will balance itself out. And hopefully there's a, you know, hopefully there's progress and that everything works out. But I just wanted to share with you guys how it's going so far. And I just wanted to say hello. It's been a long time and I miss you guys and I miss making videos and I need to get back into it because that's one thing that I truly love is, is having this channel and being able to do this. I've got to go pick up Gage. I'll thank you so much for being here and for sticking by me and being supportive. Yeah. See you later.